What are some of the games that you play that are not really that well known? Well, that was one of the questions that one of my subscribers and viewers of one of my previous videos asked me and I didn't really know how to answer this question. So the thing is, there's a lot of games that we play, right? We as gamers have our main games and then we have the games that we play on the side. Every now and again you just jump into a different game just to feel something different. For me it's Counter Strike 2 with my main game and then the rest follows as Battlefield 2042, Paladins, Radio Not, and games like that. And I actually did some digging. I actually checked to see how many players are there, or active players are there in the games that I play. And I was quite surprised. I have to say I was quite surprised. I didn't expect that at all. Like, not even close. And I'm pretty sure that you guys can do the same thing if you play on Steam at least. And just, just check how many people actually actively play the games that you play. I'm gonna share with you guys a list in this video of some of the games that I really enjoy playing. And how many people actually play those games. Maybe you can find some gems here, maybe you can see some of the games that you play as well. And uh, just, just have a realization of how many people actively play your favorite games. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video, it's gonna be a fun one, subscribe if you enjoy gaming content, guides and other stuff gaming related and also like this video for the YouTube algorithm, it really 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 helps me out a lot. Right, with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So starting this off, I'm gonna go through a game that is pretty well known, I mean, in an international standard at least, and continues to grow kind of somewhat, you know, at a, at a normal pace, so bear with me. Alright, the first one is GTA 5. Now this game has a player base, a peak 24 hour player base of 156,242 players, and that is considered kind of the average when it comes to, you know, fairly popular games. This is not a game in the list, this is just the benchmark as a normal game. Then going on from there, we have Cyberpunk 2077. Now this is a single player game, so it's not gonna have that big of a player base, but it has a 24 hour peak of 33,427 players. And that is considered pretty high compared to a normal, you know, single player game. Let's start this actual list. One of the games that I have enjoyed playing somewhat to an, you know, up to an extent at least was Path of Exile. That is a top-down style Diablo-ish type of game. It's free to play and it gives you most of the benefits at least of playing a game like Diablo. Now this game has a 24 hour peak of 12,300 players, now keep in mind this is a multiplayer game and it has continued to grow somewhat over the years since its release back in 2014 or 2012 at least I think it was. It had an all time peak of 209,526 players. Next up on the list is a game that pretty much everybody knows and that is Battlefield 42. Um, this game had a 24 hour peak on the Steam charts at least of 12,216 players. Now that is not a lot. That is definitely not a lot. But do keep in mind that this game has only been on Steam since November 2021 or around about that time. And the game has a huge player base on the Xbox Game Pass as well as you know other places you can play Battlefield 2042. But this is just the Steam charts alone. Which means it's kind of, you know, a bigger game, but it's still not that well known. If you think about the fact that Counter-Strike, for example, has a 24 hour peak player base of 1.49 million players, which is insane that so many people are playing the game at the exact same time. Now moving on to another game that I think is really kind of a gem that not a lot of people know about or play apparently, and that is Paladins. This game had a max or a 24 hour peak player base of 5,523 with an all time peak of 60,566. Now this game is basically Overwatch. If you've played Overwatch, you've played Paladins. It's kind of the same characters, kind of the same setup. The whole ordeal is kind of the same. And it was at the beginning kind of like a free to play Overwatch because, you know, Overwatch 1 wasn't free to play when it released and for a long time actually it wasn't free to play. It's just with Overwatch 2 that they made kind of, you know, the whole system free to play and 
kind of broke down Paladins' player base because you can see that it gradually declined from when it released up until now where it is at its lowest peak ever. Moving on to another awesome game that is ready or not now this is a tactical shooter where you play as a swat member trying to save the hostages and stuff like that it is an amazing game very very realistic and it drives you insane how many times you will get wrecked <laughs> before actually completing a mission unless you have a team that pretty much knows what they're doing and this game had a 24 hour peak of 7264 players with an all time peak of 55174 this game released back in December 2021 and had its peak in November 27th, 2023 with that massive peak. I think somebody might have probably played that on like Twitch or something, some influencer. Moving on to a game based on an anime that we all love and enjoy if you enjoy anime at all and that is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now, I always had the impression that this game was massive and it probably is on like the consoles and stuff but on steam at least the player base is kind of insanely small i didn't understand that but it is it apparently is very small it had a 24 hour peak player base of 1636 and an all-time peak of 13,570. i never expected it to be that low but apparently that is the case i I don't know what to tell you, that's kind of crazy. It, it is, it's Dragon Ball Z, it's basically Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super at least at this point where you can play with a Saiyan or a human or a Namekian or whatever you want to play with, create your own character, create your own story. It is insanely fun, especially with friends doing a lot of raids and stuff like that. I think you call it raids. Either way, it is a lot of fun. It is kind of just like a, a go crazy, you know, having basic superpowers and stuff if you enjoy that type of thing. Moving on to another kind of a shooter game, but this one is a little bit different. It is called Battle Better Remastered. Now, this is a game where you can kind of say it is Battlefield mixed with Roblox, I guess. Probably, probably Roblox. But anyway, very, very fun game. Super, super intense. A massive leveling system with weapons and attachments and stuff like that. Very, very fun. The community there is kind of insane. And it had a 24 hour peak of 3,499 players and an all time peak of 86,636 players. Now you can see that it kind of gradually went up to its peak back in July 2023 and all of a sudden it kind of fell off again and it's gradually losing players on Steam which I don't know why exactly because it is a very very fun game it's it's just probably too generic maybe I don't, I don't know in any case that is definitely a game that I really adore and I think you would enjoy as well if you like just you know running in and getting in type of games if you would like to see the games with the most amount of cheaters ever in the world you would probably like to watch this video on your screen right now and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and letting me know in the comment section what your favorite game is that no one really knows about all right i'll see you in the next one cheers